In today's video, we're going to be doing a general rundown of the War Pets. We're not going to deep dive into them from what I've done, but we're just going to talk about some of the things that come with their kits and what exactly they do. So stick around. Let's get it. Welcome back to CEO Gaming, and today we are talking about some war pets. We're going to just kind of do an overall review of them, not going to truly break down on what they do because I haven't messed around with them enough to really give you my true understanding of them, but we're just going to kind of do an overview. Uh, as you can tell, you can click them and they gain some respect points, which is really nice. And of course, how you get these hearts is you just clean their pin. You know a couple times a day however you know much they pop up uh, i really don't see an exact time frame on how that pops up but we're just you know it'll be something we figure out so we're just going to kind of start off with the pet menu <clears throat> so this is the pet menu of when you have these pets in general uh there is several different types of pets you have the phaedrakes you have the rocks you have the lizards and bears uh, there's two different sets for each one of them. All of them have a general, you know, linking to some type of march that you may do, whether it be infantry, mage, cav, or marksman. Uh, they're all kind of linked to that in general. Uh, I think, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure most of them can kind of go with whatever because, you know, as you're going to find out in this video, you can, you know, you can really choose whatever skills you want the biggest thing that you got to watch out for when you're building these is making sure that your your main base attributes match up for what you're trying to do so you know if your skill calls for you know such and such by luck you just got to make sure that is matched up in general but we'll kind of jump into that here in a minute uh as you can tell uh, i've had terrible luck with these things so far i know several people that have like four or five legendaries and have been extremely lucky with the you know the purify potions and getting just gold uh but that's the next thing we're going to talk kind of talk about so basically you can get these things in four stages you can get epic uh or let's see here you can get um uh, advanced elite epic and legendary uh, and as you try to level these things up, uh, they level up with your, com you know, with your heroes as you're out fighting. Uh, so it's pretty simple to level them. But when you want to try to change their quality, how you do that is you click on regenerate in this menu and you can use these uh, regeneration potions, which change your overall stats. So let's just say, you know, I hit this and I click it. If you see on the right side here, it did, didn't did change the quality, but it kind of shifted these skills around, and it would technically take it to advance. You know, if I click it again, as I said, I've had terrible luck, but you can see these skills have changed. Uh, we'll do it one more time, and of course, the quality that time changed. So that's generally how you're going to get these to Legendary. I'm fairly certain as you capture them on the map, you technically can get them as Legendary as well, but it's extremely rare. But we have two more regeneration potions, so we're just going to click this two more times and see if we can get lucky. And nope, as you can tell, it's just not happened. I've literally used every day's worth of potions and have not got a legendary yet. But that's how you're going to get legendary, up the quality, and get your base attributes the way you want them. Uh, I highly recommend you, once you get legendary, not to do that and actually save it. You're just going to waste use that pet for you know whatever baseline you want to use it for and what those skills attributes give you at that moment uh kind of jumping ahead as you can tell you have skills uh that you can put on each one of them and if you like you look at this skill this is called pain bloom which is clearly a mage type of deal because it says damage type or pet skill damage magic so this is clearly going to be a mage. Uh, there is a lot of skills with the pets that have linking skills as well, which we'll talk about here in just a second. I'll show you the one that actually links with Pain Bloom. Uh, and then you can just generally change these out as you go. Uh, there is a store that you can buy these in that take the new currency that uh, costs money to buy, or you get them by selling stuff as you go. 
Uh, but like, let's see here. For instance, we're going to find Pain Bloom. There's another store that we can go look through as well. Oh, here we go. Forceful Pain Bloom. As you can see, uh, each time you inflict Scorch Freeze or Ensnare, Ensnare on one enemy legion, Pain Bloom deals more damage to the the next time it casts. So, of course, if you have both of these, then it's going to, of course, make Pain Bloom do better. So just watch out for that in general because those are going to link up and you're going to probably want to end up getting both of those on there. Uh, there is... Of course, your base, there's one star, two star, three star. There's no usable skill cards for three star uh, right now, but I'm sure we will get them at a later date. Uh, and of course, the price varies, you know, from cheaper to very expensive. Like, you know, this one is 14,000 of the new credit, so that's something to look out for as well. Uh, but generally speaking, this is a very good skill uh, in the long run. With that being said, we're going to kind of jump into another menu or jump into this. This is your Warpet skill cards. This is basically what you have uh, currently on you. So that's something to look out for. Uh, you can actually sell these, which of course right now you can't sell anything. There's also this store that you can go into that you can also buy stuff from. Uh, they did say in the general update from the Call of Dragons community that they're going to allow player trading at a, at a future date. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, but generally speaking, that's what that is. And then, of course, you have your... Well, this is what I was just showing you. This is the store. So, and of course, you can see everything in here. Uh, you can also go through here and, you know, basically filter out from low quality, high to low, however you want to do. Price increase, decrease, and then you can filter from one star... Zero stars, two star, three star, and then damage type, attribute. So, you know, say for instance, you're looking for a two star magic. You just do that, and then boom, this is going to be all of your two star magic ones that you can do. Uh, and as you can tell, the prices just vary, like every one of them. So say we want to look for a two star and we want, you know, physical. Then boom, there we go. Pops up all those. So there is an easy way to do this. It's super simple. It's nothing just crazy difficult about it. It's a good thing. Uh, but generally speaking, you know, the War Pets are... I think they're a great addition to the game overall. Also, these hearts uh, you get for cleaning and you get from gifting. Which basically means, you know, as you use these, you can go here and you can spend this. And this can give you anything from, you know, rejuvenation potions to... To confirm, here we go. You can get all these different foods, gifts. You can also get uh, skills out of here. You can get the reju rejuvenation potions. And then that's generally pretty much it. Oh, and technically, you can get resources out of here too. Actually, that's the first time I've really looked at that and seen that, which is pretty interesting. But you know, the more rare is getting those higher-end skills. Uh, it's going to be a lot like drawing out of a gold chest or an artifact chest. So just keep that in mind. And then, of course, these things are super limited uh, with how often you can actually clean. And then, of course, gift. So, you know, the more pets you actually get. You know, say if we spin again, let's see what we get here. Looks like we, we did get a gift this time. So if I go back and let's just say I want to gift this here, we'll just... Hit this gift button, and as you can tell, boom, and then you gift it, and it gives you those points. Um, that's just pretty much how that's done. Nothing serious. I think that's going to be kind of the process. We'll go ahead and just use our hearts real quick. Oh, looks like we did get a skill. Enemy Legion Attack Mitigation plus 0.3%, determined by Endurance. So, that's not a terrible pull, but it's nothing just absolutely amazing. Yeah, we got another skill. This time, we got a one-star skill, so, okay. Having a little bit of luck, I'll take the two skills in general. But my overall outlook for the pets is I think they actually look amazing. Uh, I've heard them called Pokemon quite a bit, but I'm not going to lie. If you know what How to Train a Dragon is, to me, if you paint this dude right here all black, it straight look like Toothless. That's just my humble opinion. But uh, before we wrap this video up, we will kind of talk about how you get them. So if you go out and you search... 
go to legions and you can go to beast you can actually filter this for whatever you're looking for <coughs> as i said there's several different ones there's all of your lizard species then there's all both of your uh phaedrakes you have two rocks a golden rock and a snow rock and two bears uh why they decided to do four lizards i really don't know uh why they did four of those and only two of each ones uh but each one of them have a have a specific thing they're supposed to be it's just figuring that out uh i can only go off of what i've been told each one of them go to and i don't want to say that you know up front because of the fact that it could be wrong and like somebody else's understanding must be that but in a future video once we really go into detail we'll kind of break them down uh but like i was saying if you want to search them so like say i want to search a golden rock actually let's see let's go snow snow peak rock hit search boom go over here and of course i got all these people out but you would send a march capture once you get it to almost a break of death it pretty much just captures it and that's that uh and then of course you can base do two captures a day but if you go inside your base and you go to your notice board and do your policies uh, they have added this policy here uh, administrative excellence which gives you three more warrant capacity every day uh, with that being said you warrants are how you collect them so you get a base two and then you can do three more which is going to give you five a day uh, also you're in your pet collection uh, you get a limited amount of spots but you can buy more spots for gems it starts out at 20 and it generally works its way up uh, you can get these keys for free from certain different places but you know it's, it's not too bad um I don't really know why you'd want just an absolute massive amount of pets. I guess at some point, you know, having a pet for each different type of situation, if you're really going to throw the money into getting just a bunch of them done, or you just get extremely lucky and just keep getting, you know, getting those legendaries. That's something to kind of look forward to as well. Uh, but I would say base, I would work on one, keep moving, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. Everybody knows what they spend, right? Uh, but that is going to pretty much wrap this video up. As I said, the pets are an extremely good idea. I think they're going to be very fun to mess with. I just need to truly jump into them and get all the information before I make an actual guide video. I just wanted to do an overview video for everybody. So that's going to wrap this up. Uh, if you don't mind, drop a like on the video. Consider hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, see you out.